if you're a Leo, sun, moon or rising sign, this love message of guidance is for you. So let's see, Leo, what's coming towards you in your love life. Okay. If you've been going through a bit of a challenge in time with someone and there's been a lot of arguments, Spirit wants you to know that criticising one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. So for you Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising signs or if you're a cross watcher, take what resonates here and know that it's time to put these differences behind you and focus on your love and accept each other as you are and work and negotiate to make that change. Here you are working past your challenges here. Six of Swords is very much about putting the past behind you and moving towards something better, a much brighter future. And the King of Wands is you feeling more in control, feeling more empowered by accepting that this connection is special. And there are going to be times when you're going to argue. There's going to be times where you'll have your different opinions, your differences in what you want in life, from life, from a situation. But I feel like you are learning to compromise and negotiate with each other, which is putting you very much back in control here. You're very deeply connected telepathically. And I feel at times with that Three of Swords, you go through long periods of low energy with each other. Maybe you're in separation with someone who you've had a lot of conflict with, a lot of arguments with. But I do feel like there is still a deep connection here for you. And with that Six of Wands coming through here and the Nine of Pentacles, I just feel like some time out from this energy is what you both needed. Because I just feel things have got very heated. And with that Six of Wands, I feel there is time a part that's been needed to have a very successful and victorious outcome here. There it is, the Hermit coming through to confirm the time apart was needed here because things got a little bit too tense with all of the arguments, with all the criticising, with all of the differences of opinions and differences of what you want from your relationship. Appreciating each other and, and having this time apart is going to really put you in a, a strong position where you'll know yourself better. You'll know yourselves better individually because you've been able to go within, listen to your inner voice, listen to your inner wisdom and achieve a successful outcome for you. So if you are looking to reconcile, it's going to take a lot of work and effort because you both need to compromise here. It's not going to happen overnight because you've needed this time apart to evolve, remember who you are and tune in and tap into your inner self again, okay? There's a lot of inner work that's needed to happen here, Leos, for you to come into your power, find your feet again and be on the right path of what you want and what you feel you can negotiate with. And if you're prepared to negotiate and compromise, then it is there for you. There is a successful outcome. So think long and hard, Leo, what you want from this connection, because I do feel like there is still a lot of love here. And by loving and accepting each other as you are and your relationship, needing this compromise, needing this work, needing this negotiation to work together. If you're both prepared to put the work and effort in and you can both love and accept each other as you are, your relationship will magically transform.